Hey, science fans! I'm Ryan from the Saskatchewan Science Center, and welcome to Science at Home, where we do science demonstrations with things that you probably already have laying around. Have you ever heard of a pH indicator? A pH indicator is something that you might use if you were testing a hot tub or determining what your soil conditions were like before you planted something. Essentially what it does is it will tell you if the substance that you're testing is acidic or if it's basic. For this week's Science at Home video, we're gonna make our own pH indicator out of not much more than just a red cabbage. Let's get started. All right, here are the supplies we're gonna to need today. So we're gonna need a blender, about half full of water, and with several red cabbage leaves in it. We're gonna to need to strain the cabbage leaves out so we have a strainer and something to pour the cabbage water into. And then we're gonna need three containers to actually do our tests in. And finally, we're gonna need something to test. So today I have some baking soda and some vinegar. All right, let's walk through the steps and how we actually are gonna do this. The first thing that we need to do is to chop up the cabbage leaves and run it through the blender. So this is something that you're gonna want an adult's help on. Make sure you put the lid on tight because this will make a big mess. All right, now we've got this cabbage juice and we're gonna want to pour it into something so that we can strain all of the leaves out of it. And I'm just using this kitchen strainer. Doesn't need to be uh, very fine. I'm gonna pour that all out of there. And what we're left with is this purple juice, this cabbage juice. Red cabbage contains a substance called anthocyanin, which is a water soluble pigment that changes color dependent on whether it's put into an acid solution or a basic solution. I'm gonna take my cabbage water and pour about an equal amount into each of these three glasses. Let's just level these up here. Okay, so in the middle glass, we're not gonna put anything into it. That's called our control glass. Now this one over here, we're gonna try and put in some vinegar. And let's see what happens when we do that. Oh, that's cool. So this has changed red, almost pinkish, and that's because vinegar has about 5% acetic acid. The acid has taken the anthocyanin and turned it from purple to pink. You can really see the color difference between the normal cabbage juice and the cabbage juice that has the vinegar in it. Now for here, what we're gonna do is test baking soda. And to do that first, I'm gonna have, I have a glass of just water, and I'm gonna add a scoop of baking soda to that and, dil and stir it into there. And then we'll add it to the cabbage juice. And you can see that that still changed color quite a bit. This is now a blue, whereas the regular cabbage juice is a purple. That's because while baking soda is a base, it's not a very strong base. If you had used a stronger base, this color would have potentially gone all the way to green. Now, one other thing that you can do that's really cool is if you take little strips of paper cut from a coffee filter and soak it in the cabbage juice, and then you let it dry, you can actually create your own pH test strips that you could take and dip into different materials. All right, so now that you know how to make your own pH indicator, why don't you explore around your home and test some things and see if they're acidic, or basic, or neutral. Things that you might wanna try could be vinegar or baking soda. You could try some window cleaner. You might wanna try shampoo or soap that you would use to wash your dishes. Make sure that you share your findings in the comment below. Thank you so much for joining me here at Science at Home today. And don't forget to check our website at sasscienceandrew.com where we post new activities almost every day and there's lots of great things for you to explore. Bye. 
and thanks for joining me here on YouTube today. If you enjoyed the video, I'd love it if you'd consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification icon so that you'll be notified every time that we post a new video.